I bought one of these rather expensive Bessie edge clamps because I wanted to compare some aspects of this to Marius Hornberger's design. And looking it over, it's a very solidly built edge clamp. No wonder it's so expensive. Now I bought myself uh, this odd edge clamp many years ago, but I've never actually used it because for edge clamping, I always just kind of uh, put a wedge behind a bar clamp clamped across the edge and that's worked well for me. But it's kind of an awkward multi-step process, so I always figured a real edge clamp would be so much more convenient. Because you can just push it onto the edge and tighten it. Or at least that's what I thought. Ow. So it turns out even the stock as thick as about 17 millimeters jams when you try to get it in there because the point that this makes contact with on these cams is ahead of the line between those two shafts. So basically those two points that touch the corners actually have to move closer together as these cams rotate. So anything that's this thick or thicker tends to jam it up. So you can't just slide it on there, I guess unless you hit it with a lot of force. And that means I need to manually pull back the cams when I put it on there and then I can tighten it. And then to get it off again I have to pull back on both of these cams and have to be careful about just letting these go because there's a pinch point right here and that I've discovered is rather painful when you get your skin caught in there. Whereas my edge clamping hack comes off like this. So surprisingly it's not any more convenient than my edge clamp hack with an F clamp like this and these cost uh, almost 10 times less. And considering how rarely I actually need an edge clamp, uh, I can't see spending a whole lot of money buying a set of these. But how well does it hold? Uh, this is limited by this thing sliding out here, but I can tighten this up real good with a star knob that I added and it can take about 80-90 kilograms before it slides off. So a fair amount of clamping force. So now the question is how well do these cabs hold in comparison? The cool thing about this design is the harder it pushes against the cams, the harder the cams push on here, so as long as the coefficient of friction is high enough, it won't let go. So I've got my clamp in my strength testing machine. Uh, this jack lifts up and measures the force, which also lifts up on here. And this clamp is attached to this piece of wood down here. So we'll see how hard we can pull on it before it lets go. I'm adding this little piece of wood here to see how much the clamp deflects. So that maxed out at 263 kilograms and after that the jaw started to slip so somehow at extreme pressures I think the coefficient of friction of that material decreases a little bit. Looking at this test piece this is where it gripped and you can see the grain is a little bit crushed on both sides from the pressure of clamping on there before it started to slip off. This part here is when I tested my other clamp so that's just the residue from the rubber. And looking at these cams on here, I don't see any signs of damage in the material here, so I think this is a load that these clamps can take more than once. The plan had been to test this clamp to failure until this frame breaks apart or bends, or maybe these cams fail, but uh, given that at very high forces, 260 kilograms, it just slides off the workpiece, I guess the frame itself is protected in a way, or at least not the limiting factor. But in Maris Hornberger's clamp design, which I've been testing, uh, the frame is definitely the limiting factor. So that will be in an upcoming video once his part is ready as well. Though I don't recommend buying a lot of these uh, clamps. If you do need to edge clamp something really hard, getting one or two or a few of these may be worthwhile because they do hold surprisingly well.